everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and this is day 5 with the Kodak PlaySport ZX5. Now I've been bringing you these daily videos and I wanted to bring you something that showed you the Kodak PlaySport being used on a tripod this time. So it's mounted round about, let me just work this out, one, two, three, probably about five feet away from me. There's no external mic port on the ZX5 so this is using the built-in microphone so it's having to pick my voice up over that five foot distance. Now in this video I've got a little message coming up in a short while and I also wanted to just uh, sort of share with you some product that turned up at the weekend. So I'll do that in a minute, you know what it is because you can see the box sitting off to the side of me here. Um, but I'm going to show you that close up, get an idea how the Kodak Play Sport sort of behaves when it's doing sort of product reviews. Then it gives you an idea as to whether you can get away with a camera at this sort of price point for your own videos. So I thought that would be really useful for you in this video. Now, before I show you the product, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you for all of your birthday wishes. I just was sort of overwhelmed, really, with the amount of uh, Twitter messages I got saying happy birthday. Uh, I put a video out on my birthday as well, a very sneaky one I managed to record and um, just the amount of people that wished me happy birthday on that as well so big big thank you for all your birthday wishes a special message actually for Mquan um, who actually bought me an iPhone app for my birthday how cool is that um, something called Halftone I haven't tested it yet but it's for the the iPhone 4 I'm gonna have a play around with that next week so just absolutely top top bloke very very thankful for that gift from Mquan as well now in this video, as I said, I wanted to, it's not going to be a, a full review or anything, but this Asus uh, E-Pad Transformer turned up. These are the boxes sitting here, I've got the product on my lap. This is the box for the actual E-Pad Transformer, so I'm really excited about that. They also sent me the uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard sort of dock it's called, that you can dock the E-Pad Transformer onto, and I'm going to be bringing you... Uh, full coverage of this over the coming weeks including a full review over on the Geekanoids channel um, and I'm also going to be writing a series of articles for Asus about the EPAD transformer when I know the links to those articles I will uh, let everyone know so you can read about my full sort of impression about this now they haven't paid me to do the review or anything so it's going to be purely unbiased uh, articles just about my experience with the EPAD transformer, what I think about it, what could be improved, and yes, there is room for a little improvement. Um, and just to really share with you my, my experience with using this on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the device anyway. This is what it looks like. This is docked on the actual um, the keyboard dock, and it opens up. Let me just open this up like this. So it looks like a little mini sort of laptop when it is opened up. So I'm going to switch the angle of the uh, Kodak PlaySport camera now so I'll give you a close-up look of the EPAD transformer. Okay so here's the EPAD transformer close up. Uh, the first section of the video you saw with me in shot was actually done without any lighting. I put a couple of little lights just coming in from the sides just to light this up a little bit for you. Um, this is it, this is it actually docked. Let me just give you a look around the device while it's docked. This is the sort of rear facing camera on the sort of uh, tablet part of the device. If I look around this side, now if you look at the top section here, this is the tablet and this bottom section is the keyboard dock. So on the tablet you've got an on off button and a volume rocker switch and then a little speaker sort of grill here. I'm gonna just pick that up on the light a bit more for you. This is the little speaker grill. And then on the uh, bottom of the uh, keyboard dock, we've got a USB socket here. We've got a charging point here. And the charging point's really um, clever. If the dock bit is used with the pad and you charge it, it actually charges the pad first so that you can take it off and go. And then it charges the keyboard portion afterwards. So that's really cool. This is the back of the device. So this is what the sort of hinge area looks like. It's looking rather dark on the video, but hopefully the lights are picking this up. And then this side, this is where all the business goes on. We've got on the pad, 
portion so this is the sorry the tablet portion of the device we have got um, a microphone input socket we've also got HDMI out micro SD card and another speaker grill and then on this bottom portion this is the keyboard portion we've got another USB port so two in total and an MMC SD and SDHC memory card slot and then around the front of the device there's nothing to be seen the bottom has got this really nice effect to it and some rubberized feet let's open this up and I'm going to show you just for ease I'll show you the keyboard portion first because obviously you can see that in shot now this is a really nice keyboard actually and when the pads docked like it is now you can use this trackpad area to move around the screen we've got a button here for making selections and the screen uh, sorry the keyboard get your words right David the keyboard section is um, like a QWERTY keyboard but it's got some custom keys on it as well so where you would normally find an escape key up here it's got like a backwards key and then it's got shortcuts to wireless Bluetooth I'm not even sure what all of these are but we've got like auto brightness brightness up and down um, I think that's a shortcut to the internet shortcut to the camera here shortcut to settings play pause skip backwards and forwards sound mute up and down and then a lock screen button in the top right and then down here we've got some more custom keys as well you've got a function key a home key which takes you back out to your home screen and also a search key so that's really cool and then to take the pad off we've just got like a sliding switch here so I'm hoping that the camera's giving you a good look at this and you will get a better look at this in my, my sort of full coverage on the Geekanoise channel but this is the switch that you slide and then the pad undocks off the device so this is what the EPAD transformer looks like when it's not actually on that keyboard dock and it's really nice and thin and feels really good in the hand and it's running uh, Android version 3 also known as Honeycomb this is sort of the home screen you can see I've downloaded some apps here already and you can move between screens really nicely and these are some shortcuts to apps that I've actually already downloaded um, this is a widget for the weather really cool tap on the apps button up here brings up all of the apps that are installed on the device really nice screen as well really liking that a lot and then we've got three sort of soft touch keys down here uh, these are actually on the screen so there's no physical keys on the device and I can go back to the home screen with one push nice animations we've also got down here if we tap just in this corner here it brings up a widget um, with some information about time battery percentage etc I can tap that again and this brings up easy access to things like airplane mode uh, Wi-Fi, lock the screen rotation, notifications, the brightness so I can put the screen brightness all the way up or I can set it to automatic um, notifications are on and you just heard a sound there that means like an email is coming or something and those notifications appear in this sort of bottom bar so on a mobile phone you'd have that top status bar on the uh, Honeycomb 3 it appears down the bottom here and I can tap on that to see that I've got a comment pending so I can tap on that notification and it will go straight into the email application because that was what that notification was telling me about and this is the standard email application widescreen view we've got all of my messages here these are all comments that are pending or posted on my videos and I can view the actual content of the message on the right hand panel I can tick boxes delete move things around respond to emails really easily and go back to the home screen just with the push of that one button now I'm not going to show you everything in this video just really want to just show you the YouTube app though this is the um, YouTube app coming up now it should show us a panel like this of all of the videos that are um, either in my subscriptions box or are popular at the time these all seem to be subscriptions and I can scroll through and see more subscriptions uh, or I can browse or I can look at my own channel so if I go on to your channel this shows you the Geekanoise channel and all of the videos that are on there at the moment so the way that's presented is really nice as well now I'm not going to tell you everything about the device I just wanted to give you a really quick look 
it is looking good at this early stage really been in, enjoying using this over the weekend uh, keep an eye out for the extra coverage on this Asus ePad Transformer. I hope you enjoyed this little video. There's going to be plenty more coverage to come on this. I hope you like the little daily updates as well. Um, thank you to everyone who's watching and I'll see you all in the next video.